Hello, welcome to Daily News from Ajaya TV. Daily scientific meetings of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in holy city of Qom, Iran. The residence of His Eminence Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadr Hussein Shirazi, a respected religious authority, hosted another enlightening scholarly session in the holy city of Qom, attended by numerous scholars, religious figures, and students of Islamic seminaries. This meeting delved into various topics pertaining to Islamic ethics, Islamic jurisprudence, Islamic history, etc. Additionally, in this session, one of the attendees asked, What is the subject and ruling of Kathir Shaikh or someone who doubts frequently? In response to this question, His Eminence stated, The lawgiver has stated the ruling for Kathir Shaikh, which is to disregard the doubt, but has not specified its criteria, so determining its criteria is left to common understanding. However, the jurists, based on their common understanding, have stated that if a person doubts twice in one prayer, on the third doubt, they are considered kasir or shak. Also, if someone doubts twice in two consecutive prayers, for example, the noon and afternoon prayers, about the same thing and then doubts again in the third prayer, for example, in the evening prayer, they are considered kasir or shak. The esteemed viewers of Marjaya TV can watch these sessions live and directly on this TV network, a collection of other TV channels and also on the Al Shirazi app and TV boxes simultaneously with these sessions at 11.15 a.m. Qom local time. PR delegations of Grand Ayatollah Shirazi attend memorial service of the Emir of Beni Hassan tribes in Iraq. A joint delegation of public relations centers from the offices of the religious authority Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in the holy cities of Najaf and Karbala, led by Sayyid Arif Nasrullah, attended the memorial service for the late Sheikh Muthanna al-Hatam, the chief of the Beni Hassan tribes in Iraq. During their presence at the ceremony, this delegation conveyed their condolences and those of Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sara Husseini Shirazi to the family of the deceased. This delegation was welcomed by Amir Ali Hatim, the son of the Amir Muthanna al-Hatim. 22nd session of a special art talent training course at Najaf Center for Strategic Studies. The 22nd session of the special training course for the blind individuals with artistic talents was held at the Najaf Center for Strategic Studies and CSS, a center associated with the religious authority Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in the holy city of Najaf. The training course, attended by Faris al Shimari, the head of the cultural organization Oyun al Fan, an Iraqi artist, Fala al Hassan and Nur al Atiyah, provided instruction in various art fields suited to the talents of these participants. Ms. Bal Hussein Foundation joins the United Nations Economic and Social Council, ECOSOC. The Ms. Bal Hussein Cultural and Charitable Foundation, the Holy City of Karbala, announced its membership in the United Nations Economic and Social Council, also known as ECOSOC. This council is one of the six main organs of the United Nations responsible for addressing social and economic issues. ECOSOC has 54 member countries and over 1,600 NGOs with consultative status. The membership signifies international recognition of the Foundation's humanitarian efforts. The Foundation has stated that this achievement will enhance its participation in international dialogues and influence global policymaking. It will expand the Foundation's activities and increase its impact on improving the lives of marginalized and impoverished communities. The Ms. Paul Hussein Foundation is a leading humanitarian organization providing food, medical, and educational assistance to those in need and implementing development projects to improve living conditions of vulnerable groups. This membership strengthens its international presence and underscores its commitment to the United Nations Global Goals. Weekly Tawassul Ceremony held at Ahl Bay Center in Madagascar. The Ahl Bay Center, affiliated with the religious authority Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in Mahajanga City, Madagascar, held another weekly Tawassul Ceremony last Thursday evening. This event was attended by dozens of believers and Shiites who engaged in prayers and supplications to the Holy Household. Mawkeb Rasul Azam prepares to welcome pilgrims in Holy Kadamiya on the occasion of Imam Jawad's martyrdom. Mawkeb Rasul Azam, affiliated with the religious authority Grand Ayatollah Shirazi in the holy city of Kadamiya, is preparing to host pilgrims during the martyrdom anniversary of Imam Jawad, peace be upon him. As per tradition, the Mawkeb will be stationed in the holy city of Kadamiya, making arrangements to welcome and serve pilgrims. Activities will include hosting and providing accommodation, organizing morning ceremonies, and conducting congregational prayers during the days marking the martyrdom of the ninth Shia Imam. Thank <laughs> you.